And Indiana is hitting a new milestone in this race to roll out the COVID vaccine. The company that runs our state registration website says they've had a million Hoosiers sign up to get the vaccine. But tonight, as our Emily Longnecker explains, many Hoosiers are still waiting for their chance. I just, I cannot wait to roll my sleeve so I can get that injection on, Emily. But just when that will be is still up in the air for Hoosiers like Jax Von Liria. The 44-year-old does hair and makeup for film and television. But since the pandemic, Von Liria hasn't had much work in his field. And my, my contact, Emily, my contact is not a contact that I'm talking with somebody who's six feet. My, talk, my contact with a client when I'm on set is this close. You know, I'm practically breathing in their faces. That's why Von Liria wants to get the vaccine as soon as possible so he can get back to work. And now that we know that there's a vaccine, you know, we're getting very anxious because I, I'm, I'm, I'm desperate to go back to work. How quickly that can happen, though, is the question. This week, the state announced they were waiting to see how much vaccine would be available from the federal government in the coming weeks before they opened up appointments to Hoosiers ages 65 to 70. Despite being told that additional vaccine would be coming to states, we've since learned that there is no national stockpile. That's meant not booking appointments too soon when the state has to use what vaccine it has right now to make sure Hoosiers who've already received the first dose can get a second one too. I get regularly asked to provide a timeline for when additional groups will be eligible for vaccine. Right now, we are unable to predict when that will happen. We find out on a Tuesday what our allocation for that week is and we work based on those numbers. The state says so far they've been receiving 78 to 80,000 doses weekly. As of Friday morning, the state has given just over 480,000 doses to health care workers, first responders, and eligible Hoosiers. That includes folks ages 70 and up. Just over 30,000 of those doses were reported in the past day. Jax Von Liria is hoping to be among that number sooner rather than later. He's ready to work and ready to feel safe again. And it's terrifying. You don't know if, you know, you do want to get back to work, but you don't know if you're going to go back to work and that the next day you're going to die. Health officials tonight are working hard to make sure no dose of that vaccine goes to waste. This vaccination clinic at Johnson Memorial Health is pretty calm today. Last week, though, it was overwhelmed with people wanting to be vaccinated and running out of vaccine. The clinic called the state for help, expecting a couple hundred doses. To their surprise, almost a thousand arrived. It was already thawing out and had to be used quickly. They quickly called senior citizens, health care providers, first responders and others. In two and a half days, workers vaccinated as many people as they typically do an entire week. In this war against the COVID virus, healthcare providers are learning to think on their feet and adapt quickly. Now, Hoosiers 70 and older, long-term care residents, healthcare workers and first responders are now eligible to get the COVID vaccine. In fact, we can send you the information right to your phone right now about how you can sign up. Just text the word vaccine to this phone number, 317-655-5740.